Hello trainers and welcome back to the world of Poke Guru. In this episode I'm going to show you a refurbished Game Boy Pocket that I recently picked up. It's uh, got a brand new casing, all the buttons are new, uh, got a new lens cover, a uh, new battery cover, um, but it's all set to go. Um, but it, yeah, basically this looks like a brand new Game Boy Pocket with the new casing on it. Got it for a steal on eBay. Uh, someone refurbished it and wanted to just get rid of it. so. I picked this up for a decent price. It's got like the original sticker on there uh, that comes with the refurbished cases. Um, runs off triple A's, so this is the Game Boy Pocket, so it doesn't use the double A's like the Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance does. Um, so it's a little smaller than a Game Boy Color. Um, I think it's about the same thickness. This is kind of more boxy. Um, but this is one of my favorite Game Boys uh, just because of the battery life and um, how easily modded they are. Um, and for a small case, they do fit a lot of extra parts. Um, I've my favorite um, mod that I did to a Game Boy Pocket was um, on the actual um, motherboard. There's a clock that they call it a clock. It's basically um, a crystal that controls how fast the gameplay is. What I did is I took the, uh, the crystal and I, I removed it and then I added a second one and the, the second crystal had um, double the speed of the first clock so that I could, I added an extra switch so that I could change it to go from normal speed to like 2x speed. So if I was playing Pokemon and I was trying to get through it quick, I could flip that on, you know, go through the map and all that real quick. Um, it would take less time for battles and all that, so that was really handy. Um, I haven't done that to this one. Probably something I'm going to uh, look look into doing again. Um, this one, I know for sure that I'm going to be backlight modding, so uh, the screen will have a backlight on it. It'll illuminate all the pixels there. Um, other than that, uh, I, I may add some lighting inside the casing uh, for the buttons and all that. Uh, that way you can play in the dark and it's easy to see everything. That's just a little extra, um, something that isn't necessarily needed for gameplay because most of the time you can just kind of feel out the buttons. Um, but I thought it'd be nice, you know, kind of cool to have some extra lighting effect in there. Uh, but that's the plan for this Game Boy. Stay tuned for a future episode where I do that. Um, but for now I wanted to show you uh, just some games that I picked up for this. Right now I've got Bomberman in there, so I'll just show you that it works. So you can hear it's got sound. The screen looks good. So yeah, this is Bomberman. Let me get the contrast better. So anyway, so you see that it works. Um, so along with that, I picked up, of course, Pokemon trading card game. Gotta have this. I loved this as a kid. I beat it a few times. Always a fun play just to waste some time when you're bored. Um, I also picked up this uh, uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon. Um, the It's the Red Anniversary Edition, but it's basically Pokemon TPP version. This is the actual game that was uh, made. It was custom made for Twitch plays. And um, so this was uh, on the live streams. This is the actual game that was being played. And so I picked it up in a cartridge form. And this is actually a reprint cartridge. So it's got a, just a generic case on it, just a game. Um, kind of seeing there, not a real cartridge, but works in the Game Boy Pocket just fine. Um, so that's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a little extra uh, features in that game. Um, I think like all the Pokemon are easily accessible throughout the map, I'm pretty sure, but 
Uh, that was fun to, to just have to the in, add into my collection. This one here, Super Pika Land, I'm going to show this on the Game Boy. Uh, this is one that, it's an odd game. Um, it's like a Pikachu crossover of Super Mario Land. So I'll put that in. This one's a lot of fun though, because you can play Pikachu as Mario, and uh, I just love it. You got like Pokeballs instead of mushrooms. And then uh, the mushroom is actually an unknown, which is kind of cool. Um, I'll try to show that on the screen here. Ooh. Yeah, it's an unknown. Cool little difference. There's an Ekans. Oop, missed that. But that was an Ekans instead of uh, Goombas or whatever. Uh, Pidgey right there. There's a Jigglypuff. Ah, getting all over, all, all over the place, and I die. Anyways, this one's just a lot of fun. Um, got the fun music and everything like in Mario, but you play as Pikachu, so I got a kick out of that. Um, and then the last game that I have uh, to show you all is a reprint of a game called Trip World. And I think this was made in Japanese only, and then they, I don't know, they just made it in English. I don't think there's a lot of whole lot of words in it so um, but this one's really cool I'm gonna turn off my lights for a sec and I wanted to show you what this does when it's turned on so it actually illuminates to the music so any sound that's on Probably not going to be able to see the game a whole lot for right now, but I thought this was cool. An, a light up Game Boy cartridge. It's nice and clear so you can see all the LED illuminate the case and the, the cartridge itself. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I that's why I really wanted to get this clear blue. It's because this will illuminate like half the Game Boy basically on its own just with the cartridge. Let me turn on the light again. But yeah, it's still, still going to the music, which is cool. Makes for a little fun effect. It's kind of like a, like an LED candle. You know, it does the flickering, but this is a fun game. It's different for sure. But you play as this like, kind of Kirby Pikachu looking character. See if I can get a better view. But yeah, you basically do this until you get to a boss fight the boss, move on to the next level like most games. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just leave it at that for now. That is a really fun game to check out, everybody. I honestly w would recommend that one. It's, you know, you could probably find a ROM online. Um, but the, the cartridge itself, I got that on eBay as well. Uh, it's, it was all backlit and everything. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you, it's like a reprint for sure because it only covers half the cartridge. It's got that battery sticking out. Um, you can see the little resistor for the LED in there. But yeah, this this is a just cool little 
I don't know what to say about it besides it's just really awesome. <laughs> um, fun game, uh, you know, it keeps you entertained and all that too, so. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you these cartridges here um, that I picked up for my new Game Boy Pocket. I guess it's a refurbished Game Boy Pocket. Um, but yeah, so that is uh, something new that's going to be in the channel a little bit more. I'm going to do a couple mods to it, maybe do some gameplay, who knows. Um, but I really want to um, eventually do a Let's Play on um, one of the Pokemon Game Boy versions. Um, either like Pokemon Yellow or maybe Crystal. Um, that's kind of my one of my favorites out of, off the Game Boy. And I thought it would be really fun to make a, a Let's Play series on one of the, the Game Boy Pokemon versions. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to go over that quick today. Um, just show you that... Got a new Game Boy, um, so if anyone's interested um, in any kind of Game Boy modding, uh, feel free to comment down below. Um, I can try to help you with anything. Um, otherwise, if you check out like the BitBuilt forums or Mod Retro, uh, both of those are good sites for um, finding all like um, tutorials for any kind of electronic uh, video game console or a handheld uh, like a Game Boy. Um, there's lots of uh, tutorials on there uh, people have posted on how to do mods of your own. I actually have um, on Mod Retro, I have a, a diagram of how to do the dual clock um, in a Game Boy Pocket. And I can put a link in the description on that. But um, I, I, yeah, I just have a lot of fun messing around with electronics, um, you know, as well as doing all the Pokemon stuff. So just wanted to show you guys that, uh, something a little different for the channel. And uh, stay tuned because I've got a lot more uh, video game um, features for this channel uh, to be coming up very shortly. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff in the works. Just trying to get all the details figured out for now. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.